Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to another meta guide. So today we're talking about the Evolution Cup and the Evolution Cup is a brand new meta and it begins Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So with the Evolution Cup, you can only use middle stage Pokemon. So for example, you can't use Slack Host or Slack King, but you can use Vigoros. So it has to be a three stage evolutionary line and only the middle stage. So really cool meta, it looks pretty interesting. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it and see what we got going for us. So for the ES rank, rank number one, you know it's gonna be Vigoroth. Vigoroth is amazing with that counter body slam, so spammy. There's a lot of things that are actually weak in this meta to counter. So Vigoroth is gonna be probably on every team. Uh, I'm, I'm just being real with you, probably on every team, uh, if not most teams. You know, I tried to build some teams without Vigoroth, but Vigoroth is so good. Uh, then we have Zwilius, which is a, a great Dragon Breath user, great Dragon type. There's not really many Fairy types. We do have Floet, but uh, I don't think Floet's going to be that common. I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, we're going to have some great Dragon type Pokemon, including Zwilius. Uh, Hakamo-O. Hakamo-O is going to be another great Pokemon. We saw Hakamo-O in the Fighting Cup. Uh, and it's going to do really well in the Evolution Cup as well. So, another great uh, Dragon type. Then we, as well as Dragonair. Dragonair with the new Body Stem Aqua Tail, super spammy with that Dragon Breath. So, that's going to be another great one. We also have Machoke. So, Machoke, of course, you can't use Machamp. So, Machoke with that Karate Chop. Crush Chop is a legacy move, I believe. So, you might not have it. And that's going to be a little bit unfortunate if you don't. If, if you don't, probably go with like Vigoroth if you're looking for a counter user but I think Machoke is a good one if you happen to have it. Is it worth using an Elite Charge TM? I don't think so but uh, that's up to you. And then we have Golbat or Shadow Golbat going to be a great Pokemon with that Poison Fang, with that Shadow Ball going to be doing a lot of damage. Uh, yeah really good and of course since Vigoroth will be so common it is resisting counter right? Heavily resisting like like heavily, heavily resisting counters, so a great Pokemon uh, to use, and it's pretty spammy with that Poison Fang, right? So this could be the STF for you for the A tier. We actually have Dust Clops now. You can use uh, an XL Dust Clops. It can become XL'd. Do you need it? No, uh, not necessarily. You could go with just one you happen to have, um, but um, you know it, it can be XL'd, and if it is, more power to you. It's going to be bulkier, but it's already bulky. Uh, so yeah, I mean Hex. Right, a really strong move, a really strong fast move, uh, and then it has, I think, it has Ice Punch, you know, going to be hitting those Dragon types. It is double resistant counter and Body Slam for Vigoro, so great Pokemon all around. Uh, Ice Punch is really strong on this. It also has Shadow Punch, so pretty spammy as well. Uh, but yeah, I'd probably go with Ice Punch. It could hit the Dragons, it could hit Golbat. So, uh, really strong Pokemon. One that I'm probably going to use. I'm probably not going to use an XL one, to be honest, but I'll probably just use one that I have built from the past. Uh, then we have Charger Bug, yes, Charger Bug, uh, pretty, pretty good Pokemon, relatively new as well, uh, and I think Charger Bug probably going to see some play in this meta. Uh, then we have Celio, Celio, you can't use Wall Rain, but you can use Celio with Powder Snow and Body Slam, so uh, another pretty spammy Pokemon. If you're looking for a good Ice type, this is uh, one of the best ones, actually it is the best one, can hit those Dragon types for super effective damage. I do think we'll see quite a few Celio in this meta. Uh, Body Stem, of course, as we've discussed already, is a really spammy move and it's a really great Pokemon. This is going to be the A rank. The B rank, yes, we do have Chansey. Uh, Chansey is a good Pokemon, I think. Uh, I mean, it's really tanky. Uh, if you happen to have a perfect XL, it is expensive, but if you happen to have it, it could take hits for days. Uh, it doesn't really dish out a lot of damage, but it could uh, take a lot of hits. So if you're going for like a timeout team or something, if something like that exists in this meta, uh, if you're just looking to soak a lot of moves, Chansey is a good way to go. I'm not gonna be using Chansey, but I mean, it's it's not bad. Uh, then we have Poliswine, another great ice type Pokemon similar to Celio. So Poliswine, uh, yeah, really strong Pokemon, I think, of course. Again, you can't use Mamoswine, can't use Swinup. We've actually seen both of those in previous metas, right? We had the little cut for the Swinup, uh, and Mamoswine, of course, we've seen in like the Master League. Uh, a little bit, but Poliswine is going to be really solid in this meta. Then we have Nidorino and Nidorina, so I'm actually really excited for these. One of them has Poison Jab, the other has Poison Sting, so I could see you running both of these on the same team. I, I think they're pretty interesting, pretty strong, pretty fast. We know how strong Poison Sting is. We know uh, it's not really strong, but it charges up fast. We know how strong Poison Jab is, so I, I think the Poison Sting user does have... Um, 
What does it have? I think it has uh, Poison Fang, if I'm not mistaken. The Poison Jab uses it has Horn Attack uh, and Ice Beam, if I'm not mistaken. I have to double check. I've never used these Pokemon before. Excuse the ambulance outside, by the way. I don't know if you could hear it. But uh, anyway, I think these two are going to be pretty solid for this meta. So I'm actually looking forward to them as well because we've seen the evolutions, especially the Needle Queen. Uh, maybe not so much the Needle King, but uh, not bad, not bad, not bad. So that's going to be the S, A, and B tier for you. Uh, and then the other options, we do have Haunter. We've seen Haunter in the past. Uh, before a lot of other Dark and Ghost types came out, we've seen this um, years ago uh, in the Open Great League. And obviously, it could still be run in the Open Great League. But, it, you know, Evolution Cup going to be pr pretty okay here, I, I think. I think it's going to be pretty good. It is really squishy, so you do have to watch out for that, right? It can't take many hits. But, uh, you know, if it lands in attack like the Shadow Ball, like the Sludge Bomb, whichever one you're going for. Um, probably Shadow Ball, uh, but you have Shadow Punch as well. Uh, you also have Ice Punch now if you want to go that route to hit the Dragon types, but pretty interesting. And then we have Marsh Tomp, Marsh Tomp, pretty fast. I, I think it has Mud Shot, I have to double check. I think it has Mud Shot, Mud Bomb. Some of these Pokemon I'm not too familiar. I did uh, research them, like the Nidorino and Nidorina uh, to learn that, what moves they had because I had no idea. Um, but, uh, you know, I have to double check. Uh, then we have Magneton. We've seen Magneton with Thundershock, Magnet Bomb, Discharge, pretty fast Pokemon. Uh, it is really frail, so you do have to watch out for that. And, of course, as we know, um, Vigorous is going to be everywhere, so it is weak to counter. But I th do think it will be pretty good. And then we have Swadloon. Swadloon uh, is interesting with Bug Bite. I believe it has Bug Bite. Again, I have to double check. I think this was the one that had Bug Bite. But, um... No, I mean, not a, not a bad Pokemon, not a bad Pokemon. Alolan Graveler. Alolan Graveler is another one we've seen with Volt Switch. Volt Switch is a strong move. Of course, the Rock Blast, it has Stone Edge. Uh, it's a pretty powerful one. Floet. Floet is one of the few fairy types, I think, that we might see play. Of course, uh, it has Vine Whip as the uh, fast move, and then as the charge moves, it's like Moon Blast. So, I mean, if you're looking to resist those Dragon types that I think are going to be everywhere, Floet maybe can do it for you. Uh, I could be any Kel of Flower, by the way. It doesn't have to be the red one. I showed the red image, but just pointing that out. Then we have another Dragon type. We have Fracture. I, I think the other Dragons are better, like the Dragon Ads. Spamia, Hakamao, but Fracture is another Dragon. Gota. Gota does not have counter. It has Poison Jab. Uh, I'd probably go with Nidorino. Nidorina for the Poison users. I mean, this... Uh, it doesn't benefit from like stab or anything uh, and then we have Goliath line noon yes it is double weak to counter that does have that's what's going against it but uh pretty spammy pretty strong we have a quick attack user Staravia Staravia probably wouldn't have made this list if it did not have a uh, quick attack but because it has quick attack quick attack with buffed pretty pretty interesting pick there we might see this occasionally I think St Staravia might be seen here or there a uh, poly is probably going to be seen uh, a decent amount as well with the mud shot. So it is a mud shot user gets to the moves pretty fast I think we'll see poly world and then ivy so with as a razor leaf user I don't think razor leaf would necessarily be that good because I mean all the dragons resist it Golbat heavily resist it, right? Uh, double resist it. So I don't think we're gonna see ivy so too much, but it is uh, a razor leaf user if you want to go that route. So that's going to be the evolution cup for you. Let's go ahead and move on to the solid team options. The first team, we're actually going to have double dragon with Vigoroth in the lead. Vigoroth and then Hakamao and Dragonair. Originally, I was thinking of Golbat in the lead, but if you do Golbat in the lead, you're going to be really weak to ice. So like the Celio and the Poliswine, you do have to watch out for, and I think those will be pretty common. So I did put Vigoroth in the lead so it could handle those because the counter is super effective. Uh, you're not resisting fairy attacks, uh, um, you know, with, without Golbat, I guess. Uh, but, you know, I don't, there's not many common fairy types outside of that Floet. And again, I don't think Floet will be that common. So I think this is going to be a pretty powerful team. Similar to the Fighting Cup, Double Dragon going to be very, very powerful. Then we have Machoke in the lead with Nidorino and Nidorina. I did mention earlier in the video that you're probably going to maybe want to see or maybe want to try out the double Nidorino, Nidorina line. I think it's going to be pretty powerful with the Poison Sting, Poison Jab, double Poison users with a fighting type in the lead. Of course, the back line resisting counter from Vigoroth. Um, even, even Machoke, Machoke is not resisting it, but it's doing super effective damage with Karate Chop. Again, I did mention Karate Chop is Legacy, so you could switch up the, the Machoke for Vigoroth um, or something else. But um, 
yeah, I think I think it's going to be a strong team. If you happen to, to not have the cross chop, you could go with Vigloth. Uh, and then we have another team. We have Golbat in the lead, or Shadow Golbat with Celio, or Shadow Celio, uh, as well as Charger Bug. So I think Celio is a pretty strong safe swap. Same with Charger Bug. Um, I think they're both pretty uh, strong safe swaps, to be honest. Of course, a lot of teams, as I mentioned, probably going to be having Vigroth as a safe swap, so Celio might not be as good because of that, but I still think it's really powerful. Uh, and then we have another team. We have Dustclops with double uh, fighting-type moves, Machoke with Karate Chop and Vigroth. Again, as I mentioned, Machoke with that Karate Chop, uh, or not Karate Chop, uh, Cross Chop is Legacy, I believe. Um, if I'm wrong, correct me on that, but I think it is. Uh, and if it is, you might not have it. I most likely don't. I'll have to check my inventory. I doubt it. Um, but I, I do think double counter use is going to be pretty strong in this meta because there's a lot of things weak to fighting, right? Vigoroth, Zwilius, Celio, Palaswan, Chansey. I mean, I think I think double counter use is going to be strong. Uh, and then another team, we have Dragnet in the lead with Vigoroth as a safe swap and Gobat. So another strong team, I think. And the final team, we have Double Ice with Celio and Palaswine in the back, both weak to counter. So I did go ahead and put the Golbat in the lead because Vigoroth, probably going to be in the back. I mean, the thing is, you could still dish out good damage with, like, the Celio's body slams and everything. So you still dish out, and even Palaswine, so you still dish out good damage even if they do have the Vigoroth in the back, which they probably will. Uh, but then you have uh, the Golbat. To handle it in the lead. Anyway, these are going to be the team options for you. Let me know what team you plan on using. Have you thought about the Evolution Cup yet? Uh, it does begin Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.